Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Nose Rides and Nose Dives. My name is Adam, I'm your host in case you didn't know. And in case you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to hit subscribe, hit notifications, give us a thumbs up, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. But without any further ado, let's get started on this week's vlog. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the exciting topic of practicing outside of the water. Why is that exciting? Well, it's not because I have a fin fetish, I'll tell you that much. It's exciting because it's here where we can really do some damage and uh, yeah, really improve our surfing skills because let's face it, many times when we're out there catching waves, I mean, how often is it when you're on a session that you're actually catching a wave and you're in the perfect position to practice what you wanna be practicing. And at the same time, I mean, look at this wave here. I just don't wanna jeopardize the wave. I mean, I've been out here for like probably half an hour and then on this one wave I catch, do I really wanna jeopardize it? No, I don't wanna jeopardize it by practicing something that I'm unfamiliar with. I just wanna surf. And by surfing, you know, that's great. More time spent in the water, you know, equals more improvement. But at the other hand, you also wanna improve rapidly. So you gotta practice, you gotta to dare to get out of your comfort zone and do things that you're not used to, which will jeopardize and often cost you waves, good waves actually. So, and when there's not that often you're catching waves, then the best way to practice it is on land. And so that's what I'm doing here. I've got two things I'm practicing here right now. And the first one here is uh, was a tip I got from Ben Constantine uh, about a month ago. Um, online lesson, fantastic. To pop up further back on the board and then quickly uh, cross step uh, into the center of the board so that I can keep the board in trim. And doing that is gonna improve my uh, positioning on the wave drastically and uh, it'll just help me in the long run. But it's very hard. I can't, when I'm surfing, I can't see where my feet are landing. And as you see here, I've drawn up two lines on the board, divided into three sections so that I can uh, evaluate afterwards, after I've surfed, where my feet are landing on the board. But the best way for me to practice it is to get used to it and to do that uh, on land. And then double cross-stepping quickly into the board because a lot of times when I actually catch a wave and I'm further back on the board, uh, you know, I just don't know, I don't feel comfortable. I, don't, I kind of fumble around with what I want to do with my feet and I'm, I'm trying to get into trim. I'm trying to, I'm not really focused on double cross stepping. So the best way to do that is to take focus, take the wave out of the picture and just practice, pop up and uh, double cross step, you know, and, and just get that routine in and uh, get it down pat so that when I actually am in the right position and I do catch a wave, I'm able to do it more instinctively and just kind of, you know, pop up back later, or further back on the board and double cross step. How hard can it be? The other thing I'm working on in my surfing is to actually bend my knees more and keep my trunk more upright. And so a grain, a great way to do that is on land, uh, skateboarding here. I've got a, a log, a land yacht here that I'm practicing on, cross-stepping with my really trying to focus on bending my knees. And these are great things that I can work on land. And, and then at the same time, I'm having a blast. I mean, it's fun to actually be working on your goals when there are no waves. You know, what perfect opportunity. And, and if you followed me, my vlog from a couple weeks back, I was kind of feeling in a bit of a slump. And let's face it, the reason I was in a slump is because I wasn't progressing. And the reason I wasn't progressing is because I was focusing on what I wanted to improve on, but at the same time, I wasn't really catching any great waves because I was too focused on what I wanted to improve on and uh, I was jeopardizing waves. But now I'm actually feel like I'm in the process and with a strategy uh, to reach my goals that will help me get there quicker by practicing on land. So. That's why I think it's a very exciting part of surfing is to actually get out of the water and uh, do what you got to do on land and practice it and get out of your comfort zone. So when you are on the wave, your body instinctively knows where it needs to be and how it needs to work on it, instead of trying to focus on it when you actually are in the position with a great wave. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. And if you are, be sure to hit subscribe, hit notifications. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great time. You.